here. Hi, I'm Amy with Helmar, and I am so thrilled to be doing the very first um, broadcast from my studio down here. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while, and finally it's working. My husband was so nice. And he bought me a HD webcam. And so um, I guess he believes in me too, which is pretty cool. I see a lot of people logging in. I'm so excited. Thank you, Katie, for being our moderator. Um, yes, my husband's pretty awesome. It took us five or six places before we found the right webcam because I have to work with the Mac, so it's pretty cool. Um, today I'm going to be working with um, Pink Paisley Papers and Helmar, of course, the wonderful Helmar. Um, I'm going to be using 450. I'm going to be using Helmar Craft Glue and probably a little bit of decoupage glue. Is everyone okay? I'm seeing that some people can't see. Hopefully. All right. Yay. All right. Um, I am going to be doing, my daughter was, um, she's a senior this year. She turns 18 um, in just a few days, the 24th. And um, last year she went to prom with her best friend. They didn't have any guys they wanted to go with. And so um, you can see there are pretty corsages here side by side. And I, um, before we hit prom for seniors, I thought I should probably take care of the junior prom thing. And here she has really dyed her hair dark. But I'm really excited to get these into a mini album that she can take with her. Um, and I am also going to be adding in when, where'd they go? these little mini folders that she can do some writing on too. Because, you know, prom isn't about me, isn't about, aha, here we go. These little dividers. I hit record, so I think we should be good. I hope. <laughs> um, I'm using these dividers, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with them, but I'm gonna kinda leave them for her to, um, to go ahead and personalize and journal on because who knows what went on that I have no clue about. Hopefully nothing terrible, but you never know. So this will be, you know, her secret place. Um, I also just absolutely adore these sparkly litters and you can see that I've already used a couple. Aren't they beautiful? All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my table cam and hopefully everybody can see Hopefully, Diana, you can see what's going on. If you have any problems. All right, can everyone see my desk here? Hopefully. All right, I'm going to get started with my mini here. I have done all kinds of trimming already because I knew that this would be a fairly time consuming project. And So I have trimmed and cut and had all kinds of fun with my pink paisley papers. Um, first, I use these memory file folders from um, Heidi Swap. And uh, I have made another little album out of these and it's just the perfect size, especially when you're using like a four by six photo, which can sometimes get um, overwhelming for a mini album. Normally I like to custom print my photos, but in this case, that didn't work. Um, I had already needed to group a whole bunch in that I was doing for her senior portrait. So I went ahead and uh, printed these and they're, they're great quality. They're just bigger than I would normally work with. So I am going to start off. This is gonna be the first page that I have, but I'm going to begin with the outside folder here because, you know, really one of my favorite things to do when making a mini album is to customize the cover. That's just like, you know, the bonus for me. So I am going to go ahead and I am going to start getting messy because we're going to do that. I am starting with some Helmar decoupage glue here. 
Um, I'm using my little spreader, and it is, I, I don't think you can probably see this too well, but I've got gunk all over it because I love this baby. And I am going to dip and spread here on the front. All right, and I have some papers here that I am going to, this is a really pretty kind of damask and it's, I know it's probably hard to see because of the light. Hi Cheryl, good to see ya. And I'm going to start kind of tearing these in strips. Um, the other thing that I love to do, yes you do Chipper, you need a scraper. These things are wonderful. Cheryl, what is the, t uh, the my name, mine has escaped me, the official name for our spreader scraper thing. I wish I could tell you right this minute, but I can't. All right, I kind of like making these little pennant ends. Yay, Diana, I'm glad you're in. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spread them on. These papers are so pretty. And I'm a distresser type, so you're going to see some distressing from me this evening. I am a distressing person. <laughs> My husband would kill me if he knew I was making that horrible pen. Okay. I'm going to set this down too. Hopefully everyone can see what I'm doing here. Now, I'm a big paper tearer and not a big paper cutter because I kind of like to be all grungy about things. So I am tearing here. Hopefully everybody's doing well tonight. Oh, glue spreaders, just call glue spreaders. Very good. Oh, they're not listed in the online store. Well, that's very good. Well, I'm glad you got here, Cheryl. I'm so glad to see you. The wonderful traveling Cheryl. All right. Does anyone have any questions as we're getting started here for me? Hi, Anita. Thanks for coming tonight. All right. Now you can see that I've already layered things up pretty good on the top here. And um, me and my decoupage glue, we're good buddies here. It knows that I'm not picky, but how it goes on. All right, get ready for my heat gun here. Anita, I'm sneezing too. I'm in the Midwest. I don't know for sure where you are.
Oh, I use, let's see, this is, I got this a gazillion years ago, the Paper Studio Embossing, it's an embossing heat tool, and it gets super hot. My daughter also takes this for her art classes at school, and, um, and her teacher, who is a mixed media artist, had never seen one before, but it totally floored me. But she took it with her, and it's got paint, and it makes me happy with all the goo on it. It's pink! Yes, it's pink. All right. So I've got those little pieces down. Now it's time for me to get sort of misty here. See, I told you I'm messy. We're already messy. Let's see. I'm going to go with um, Tattered Angels in pink. Because we're talking about pink and it's so pretty. This is Cosmos. And um, I'm going to just gently spray over the top. And add little dribbles of green here. Because I like it to, I'm wanting it to be springy. Now, I've done this technique a bunch of times now. And I love doing it because of the dimension it adds, and um, it's just really pretty. Um, I saw it from Natalie, uh, Natalie Kovac, and I was really excited about what I saw there. Add a smidge of blue. Oh, well, that's not a smidge, but hey, that works. And then I'm using a brayer here. This is my daughter's. It's a it's a solid rubber brayer. And I'm just going to go over the top. Add some splash of blue. And I'm going to dry it again. The decoupage glue it is just perfect um, with this kind of project. It dries quickly and it dries really clear so you're not going to get it gummed up with all of your other with your paint and your other media that you're using and I think you know that's just perfect when you're working with things you want to get it done right the first time. That's part of the reason I love my home art anyway, is because it's always done right the first time. I always kind of like to sh check too and see all the colors that I'm picking up in my project that go with my photo here. Even though this will be on the inside, I think it'll be kind of cool to see how that, that works with the colors. All right. I am now using the Artisan Ribbons from Pink Paisley. Right, that should be a model always done right the first time with Helmar, and that is true. Because my layouts that I do with Helmar now, I promise they don't have things lost off of them like they used to. All right, I am going to take my artisan ribbon here. Um, I've cut maybe well, five, six inches here, and I am going to get it wet. This is just water in my spray bottle. And, um, oh, it is on our header, isn't it? I forgot about that. Awesome. I'm going to get my hands, get the paint off of my fingers. Now, I'm just taking some clear snap ink. This is... Um, mixed Media Inks and Treffle. It's the Donna Salazar uh, Mixed Media Inks. And I'm really getting this. <laughs> Do the job the first time, every time. Perfect. I think we need a jingle that goes with that, too. That'd be awesome. Um, I missed. That's the funny thing about creating live is um, I'm so messy that I'm searching for my stuff as I go. 
Okay, I when I make um, my little scrunched um, borders, I like to use my um, 450 and um, also use my um, mini attacher, tiny attacher by Tim Holtz also to kind of mm, add a little bit of, you know, the metal mixed media is kind of nice in there. So I'm going to add a dab of 450. And obviously, when I create things, if you saw any of my YouTube videos at any time, you know that I am so not perfect about the way I do things. So I might be sending you into um, hysterics with my, my messy technique here. But um, the more perfect I am, the more nervous I become, and the more the project just really doesn't suit me at all. So I have to be... I have to be free with what I'm doing. I guess that's what I'm saying. All right. Thanks, Cheryl. I'm trying not to be nervous. All right, here we go. Do you know what's really funny? Um, as a singer, you know, I, I'm a classically trained soprano and I, I sing and I've sung on stage in operas and stuff and this is making me more nervous than that ever did, which is really, which was really funny, but it's kind of fun because it means that um, it's exciting to me. I have gotten to a place with that, that, um, ooh, I'm kind of like in the other side of that. What do you think? My paintbrush, yay. Funny thing is I don't have any of the paintbrushes in my possession anymore, so I can't show them to you. I've given them to the store and um, done a swap with them, so I need to make one so that I have it on my own, but thank you, girls. So I ended up using the opposite side of this down here at the bottom. Hmm. I'm thinking that needs something. Thanks, Katie. Yeah, my blog is sparklinggnome.com. Messy and grungy here. You know, I want to soften this just a little bit, so I'm going to take... I'm such a fly-by-the-seat-of-my-pants kind of person here, if you can't tell. Um, I'm going to take a little gesso. I'm going to calm this down just a touch. Um, this is a Pampered Chef scraper. You just use them. You could use um, our glue spreaders, too. would be perfect. And mine's just all got decoupage glue over the top. Flying pig! Yay! Chipper, I'm glad that you're excited to see my, my flying pig. I had a really hard time deciding between my peacock and the, um, the flying pig, but the big thing was the peacock feathers were really big and stuck in my mind at the time, so I was thrilled about it. Although peacock feathers are kind of expensive, I couldn't make too many of those. Anybody a peacock farmer? All right. What do you think? Soften that just a little bit. Uh, the peacock feathers, I found at Joanne. And um, they had some at Michael's. But um, Michael's had everything in like a huge bunch. So it was going to be like 12 bucks, and And I didn't need quite that many. I guess if I wanted to paint... I mean, do a whole bunch of paintbrushes, that would be perfect, but in this case, it wasn't. So I'm going to dry this real quick. Hi, Q. 
Kiki, hopefully you can hear me over the din here I've got going. All right, I'm going to add some more pink paisley paper here. Hopefully I don't sound like I'm shouting. That's, who knows? I can't hear until we I see the recording what happened on that end. Could be like a Saturday Night Live sketch or something. Oh, I've got to just do my pointed ends. I just, I have to. It's a requirement for me. I don't know if anybody else does this too, just uses the pad. Um, this one's almost, I need to re-ink it, so it's part of the reason I'm doing that. One thing we were talking about, and I didn't just do, naughty me, is to make sure you cap your 450 as soon as you use it. <laughs> Crafty SNL sketch. Um, because it gets air in it and it likes to burp then. Oh, I got paint on my 450. Poor 450. It's probably used to it by now. All right. I've got appropriate amount of layers for me here. So I'm going to use some archival ink here. Um, And this is a um, stamp from 100 Proof, and I just got it. And let's talk about peacock feathers. The reason I got it was it's got peacock feathers on the crown. I thought that was really cool. And it works perfectly for her little, for her prom theme, you know, because every girl at prom feels like a princess. Um, here's, a, here's a secret about me. I test all of my stamps on my hand first. So it looks like it's working. All right. Put that there. And you do it like that too? Do you like the, um, with the pad? I didn't used to, but then once it started running out, then I noticed that's a perfect way to do it. All right, so I just, I don't want that too bold anyway. So I add, I liked added my little crown right there. Um, my plan. I like this. Doesn't this look cool? I think that this paper is fantastic. I don't know if you can see it close enough. Why on the hand? Um, I honestly don't know. I I like I can see kind of how the ink comes out. <laughs> I, I I don't know why, but I always end up with stamps on my hand. I look like a little kid, you know, who just got out of first grade and he got a gold star or something for what I was doing. But this paper is um it's so beautiful and it already looks it's so dimensional it are it looks like this has been placed on there it looks so handmade and I love it um so I'm gonna cut that out Yes, definitely an Amy quirk. I have quite a few of those. Yeah, if you get to know me well enough, you know that I've got all kinds of goofy quirks. Um, my family would tell you, this is a, a little secret between all of us that are here at this Ustream class. Hi, Beck! Yes, mixed media today! Um... Between all of us at this Ustream class, I sing most frequently um, songs to my dog, 
and they are nonsensical and I like to pretend that he enjoys listening to them. Whether or not he does is a different story. All right. Now I like that. And I'm inking the edges here. All right. I'm going to put this right up at the edge here because it's sort of a banner on its own or a pennant. Is there a difference between banners and pennants? I'm going to use my craft glue for this because it's very dry now. Anything wet is perfect with 450 because it will dry um, not all funky and warped. So I have this little pennant thing going here. So I just must make another pennant. Okay, banners with the dual tip and pennant with a single point. That is perfect, Kiki. Yes, that's exactly what, yes, perfect. All right. And so do you guys, I know this is goofy, but like in Australia, you and Australian friends of mine, um, do you all have prom? Or um, is it some kind of formal dance that you do? Because here I'm talking about prom and you may not have prom. You know, here's, in case you're late, here's a picture of my daughter and her friend Kayla at prom. They've been friends since they were in first grade. It is just the sweetest thing ever. Um, so I've known Kayla since she was just a little girl. And she came over to our house to watercolor paint because she loved to do that. Oh, let's use this. No. How about that? Ball in the West, but not sure about the. Oh, okay. A ball. Ah, I like the pop of color for my little pendant here. Man, time flies by, doesn't it? I thought that I would be, unless you're bored or, you know, I'm, you, who knows, I could be boring you out of your mind, but um, I, you know, felt like it was just five minutes into here. Aha. Um. that I like to have odd numbers in my pennants um, so I'm, I have to have five that's why I'm um, and this is um, a me thing but just to add a little something something I'm gonna lay all of these out and have my little star stamp this is also 100 proof press random stars random stars Have I made anybody uncomfortable with my crazy way of creating here? It's very haphazard, hopefully not. Do you like that? See, this, when I was watching Katie's, it looks like it's orange on the on the screen, doesn't it? And it's actually a pink. It's like a bright pink. Um, it's kind of funny how, because even the stripes in here kind of look orange now that when I look. But hey, yeah, I like that. I like the pop of color. It's just 
so cool. So first I'm going to lay these out. I'm going to use a little bit of Hallmark Craft Glue on my end one. But then I'm going to use my scrap dots. Ah, good. Glad I have fellow messy gals who understand me. I'm going to use scrap dots on these others to give it a little more dimension. got that finished. I would add you commercials, commercials. Uh, I don't need this to be too long. This is my ribbons here. Um, ribbon. The Artisan Ribbons by Pink Paisley. And I want to give it a different color. So I'm going to use some Tattered Angels. This is Snow Queen. It's not too dark. It's sort of a gray. Thanks, Katie. I'm glad you're liking it here. Now, my craft glue on here, and I'm going to roll this up. Right. Hopefully the commercials are finished. All right. I'm going to use my tiny attacher to start this on this end. And then my 450, because this is going to need, I want it scrunchy, and I'm not going to be able to scrunch it too much if I don't have it a nice good hold on it. It's not wanting to scrunch as much as I want it to. Too bad. Okay, can you see so far what's going on? We've got so much messiness, I need to tie it together a little. I have the, um, the hearts. one for the end. These are so pretty if you haven't seen them. Yes, scrap dots are wonderful. And I like them on my fingers too. I think they would make, um, <laughs> oh my goodness, you know, like um, for your, your cracked cuticles. It's just smooth and nice. But no, don't use your scrap dots as, you know, a cosmetic. Um... I want to add a little bit of the blue and this is almost gone so I am going to get this is Tattered Angels in Riptide and I'm just adding it with my finger and um, this 
is so cool because it will just pick up that chevron pattern perfectly and it's so much fun hopefully you can see that that picked up the chevron pattern and I think I'm going to add just a bit of ink on the edges of this too antiquing antiquing vintage <laughs> nail polish resist yes wouldn't that be great all right take that just a smidge pull it down I hope the weather is good wherever you are. Um, here it's warming up. It's been cold and rainy and then off and on um, cold and we had a whole bunch of snow like a foot and a half and then it got up into the 60s and then it snowed again. Kansas has become very wacky. Oh that is not for that. All right so I am part way through here. I think I am going to go ahead and hmm. for some reason I'm wanting to add something else And I'm going to do this one. Thanks, back. I'm glad you like my layers. There's certainly many of them, huh? Oh, that's so smart to spray right over your photos. <laughs> I'm going to put this here and I'm going to use my scrap dots for this. Pop it up just a bit. Oh my goodness, nine days of 95 degrees in a row. Ugh, yucky. That's so bad, Beck. Ooh, I don't feel bad. Yeah, because we had we had a straight. I think they said it was nearly thirty days of a hundred degrees or more last year, and it was just miserable. So I feel your pain. All right, I'm going to use my brown here. I'm going to add some of my stars in here. kind of randomly throughout. About the low 80s. Ooh, so that would be nice. That would be wonderful. Where are you located, Anita? <laughs> Right. Okay, I'm going to set this aside for just a minute. And I'm going to work on part of it's it's kind of damp and I'm going to let it dry just a little bit before I add other things to it. Oh, Central California, very nice. Okay, these just, I got at Office Depot, super cheap. Part of the reason I got them, and this is so goofy, but the help, the, one of the employees at Office Depot was following me around the store trying to help me find shipping tags, and he could not 
and oh yeah, they're blooming here too. So I get the allergies. Ugh, yuck. Um, and the kid at um, Office Depot said, um, you know, he kept following me around, wanting to help me find the shipping tags, which I knew weren't there. So I ended up buying these because it got him to leave me alone for a while. Yeah, that's how I work. I'm a strange girl. Okay. I'm going to use more of the Artisan Ribbon here. This time I'm going to leave it this white color. And mostly I'm just wanting to cover the letters. So I'm going to cut this in half. <laughs> yeah, good sales guy. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Snow is melting where you are, Kiki, huh? Oh. Are you up north of me? I'm in Kansas, so. All right. I'm going to use my 450 here and create a little crease kind of like I did before. But I'm just going to cover up these tabs because they're kind of boring. And I don't really need the letter G. Maybe if her name started with G, I'd leave it or something. I don't know, maybe not even then. That's what I get for not wiping my hands. I get things dirty. And... I'm going with my stars. Add my stars here. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Keep losing. Oh no, you're losing. Oh, Ottawa, Ontario. Oh no, Chipper, you're losing the stream. I'm just gonna put it on here like that. Chipper, I know they said before that logging in and logging out, um, logging, logging out and logging back in would help. If you can even hear me since you've lost the stream. All right, we got the green there and that's not exactly what I'm wanting, so I'm going to spray it down. Is everybody else staying connected okay? Oh, good. Glad that you're... No ads for you. Ooh. I guess they think that my crazy banter is bad enough for everyone. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I'm going to pull just a... This is just a doodad. I, I don't even know really where they came from, but I'm going to put them on either side. Firefox on a Mac. That's what I'm on too, Tripper. I'm actually borrowing my daughter's. She was very nice to let me bar borrow her um, MacBook Pro. Right, and now I've just, I've glued on, hopefully you can see that okay, I've glued on some flowers, and I have kind of the tattered stuff on there too, and I'll probably add a little something something later, but I'm going to do that with each of these divider cards, and I've already punched them so that they will all fit into this right here. I did it with my crocodile. I just um, measured and cut um, so that it would everything would fit in here. I'm going to set that aside too. I will show you the completed project um, either on the Helmer blog or my own personal blog so that you can kind of see what I ended up doing. I have this um, I have this chipboard 
and it was just, it was punched on one side. I got it at Michael's. It was in the dollar spot. And um, I didn't really want to use the whole album just as a square. So I'm just going to, that's, I kind of like to change up the page sizes in my mini albums because the um, one page size, I guess, just doesn't float my creative boat. I don't know what it is exactly. But I love this beautiful paper. Um, it's kind of a newsprint and this doily. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is the Pink Paisley Love Notes. And this side is also beautiful. So I think I'll do two sides. And I'm going to decoupage again. One time I had somebody tell me, oh, I is drawn to asymmetry anyhow, right? Numbers of elements are types of, you're right, Kiki. I think that is probably true, that it's the odd, odd numbers, uh, you know, mixed up pages that appeal to me at least and um, to others as well. Oh, you can see how terribly imperfect I am here, tearing my paper. Okay. And I'm going to decoupage this down. I made an entire album for my parents one time. It was small. I think it was one of the Maya Road albums that are make a word. And um, I decoupaged both the bottom and the top, everything over the top. And it actually looked really cool. It was a nice glassy look to the to the pages. They just were cohesive. Almost like a digital type look. This down. I'm gonna wipe up the extra with my finger here. that pretty pretty doily um, the other thing I'm going to add to this page um, is an actual plastic doily um, I'm lucky enough to have them from the stash of my grandmother she literally let me see if I can find the package here are the original packages so cool here's the um, lustreware plastic doilies and um, protects it too back you are correct and they came in all different patterns and she had literally like a stack yay high of these plastic doilies and I am going to add the plastic doily to the other side to kind of give um, echo it that's the word echoing Thanks, back. Ooh, that's really pretty. I don't want to. Do you ever have trouble with a double-sided paper and you have to decide which one? That I mean, these papers are all like that. I don't really want to have to decide which side to use because I love them both. I'm going to use the bright pink on this because it'll bounce off the jewel tones that I have in my photos. Yeah, I didn't find those plastic doilies until probably two years. I have my grandma's craft things when she passed away, and I just kind of had them stored in a box. And then I started doing more mixed media stuff, and I started looking through that box and found all kinds of cool treasures. So I have plastic doilies to last me forever. And I know you can find them other places. 
you could even use um, in this paper they have the the doily print and that you could add you know cut that out and add it to this other corner I kind of just like how it echoes what's going on over there where's my doily I'm going to use it to that corner. There we go. Um, for this, I'm going to go ahead and use my 450 because it's um, more of a mixed media element and needs something heavier to hold it down. Although I'm sure decoupage would do just fine. And the 450, it cleans up just perfectly. It doesn't leave glue strings. Um, before I was, I discovered Homer, I used lots and lots of hot glue and got lots and lots of strings and very frustrated and this is the first time you know I didn't get frustrated with that and um, if you are using any plastic elements using these plastic doilies I have learned the hard way that you cannot um, use any kind of heat tool on it it will melt it and it'll warp it and it'll look just crazy. Now, if you wanted to do something funky with it, I thought maybe it would be fun to make a t uh, flower out of. You can maybe melt it and make a uh, a paper, uh, or wouldn't be paper, it would be plastic flower. Um, so maybe I'll give that a shot sometime. But uh, that that's what I'm going to do with this. These need to dry, and then I will get to them as well. Meanwhile... I have already put these together. This is the Artisan Papers. Um, they're very heavyweight. Oh, bye, Cheryl. Bye, Cheryl. Um, these are very heavyweight, and they have the resist in them. Um, there's two different patterns, and you can't really see it. It just looks white to you right now, but you'll see once I get it um, kind of inked up. Um, this side is gorgeous. It has the crown and a bird. Um, just perfect for my prom theme. Oh my, dryer sheets, you ran through a die cutter. They melt. Oh boy. Bye, Cheryl. Thanks for coming. All right, here's my resist side. And I am going to pick Perfect Pearls in Blue Smoke to start off with. Well, if it decides to work for me, maybe not. Hmm. Come on, blue smoke. Well, we'll work with Trunk Bay instead. Oh, the paper range is uh, Pink Paisley, and it is their um, Secret Crush line. And it is so gorgeous. Every paper in here, it's two-sided, and I was saying before that it's just so difficult to choose a side. That's why I've kind of torn them up and used both sides. Heidi Swap, I'm not sure it's actually Heidi Swap or if it's just Pink Paisley. I think it is just Pink Paisley, but I'm not sure. All right, I'm going to use a paintbrush here. I'm going to paint on my mist because the, the, the head thing is clogged. And it'll give me a nice watercolory look over the top too. It makes this pretty resist. Oh yeah, the Heidi Swapper, the folders. Thank you very much, Katie. And then use my Snow Queen here.
Yes, hello to everyone. Thank you so much for coming to the class tonight. I appreciate you supporting me so much, and I hope that you're learning something. If you have any questions from me, please let me know. Um, you can either email me, it's amylynnlasseter at gmail.com, contact me through my blog or um, through the Hallmark blog as well. You can find some of my posts on there. So this side, I'm going to hit with my heat gun again. There you can kind of see. And I'm going to flip doodle. And this is also a resist up here. And um, I'm going to do something different with it though. I'm going to go back to my brayer. And I'm going to do just a couple squirts of the Cosmos again. And then do the brayer over the top. I think that's, isn't that so pretty, that pattern? I really like that pattern. Um, I'm going to use some Distress Stain. And I am going to, see, I told you I'm super messy. I'm going to put the Distress Stain. Ooh, I really Distress Stained there and I'm just going to use it to flick spots. I just like kind of the isn't that pretty? Yes, I like it too. Oh, X marks the spot. I don't know why I felt the need to do that. Let's see. And then I'm going to go back to inking my edges. And I'm going to go ahead and put a photo down on this. I know exactly which one I want and this has a little bit at the top so I'm going to really ink that. Oh my mess here. That's one thing I'm going to have to learn, huh? How to contain my mess. There's a picture of Haley. Okay. Bye, Chipper. Bye. I, I don't know if we'll still be here when you get back. I don't know if I'll, I'm going to try to get this kind of all put together, but I don't know. I'm going to trim this just a little bit on the side. Now, I don't know if any of you have teenagers, but they don't like to um, have their picture taken when their friends are around very often. And there were a whole bunch of kids sitting around, and I insisted, thank you, Katie, I insisted that she let me take all these pictures. And I'm going to show you real quick. I don't know if you can see this on the camera. 
The flower that under is in her hair, I made one matching for her and her friend, and they are paper flowers. And I just made a grungy paper flower and put it on a bobby pin for them to use. And I am going to go ahead and stick this down with some craft glue. I probably could use my acid free also, but I have it handy and it, it does not have acids in it, so it's fine to put on my photo. And stick that down. <laughs> Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Katie. And you know, um, they're my muses as well. I actually even have a lady a layout called my muse of my daughters. Let's keep playing so that because um, yeah, mine have learned that just sit still and, and grin and bear it because you're gonna have to handle it whether you like it or not. Aha. I'm gonna tear this off just a little. Now, I don't, you know, I get kind of nutty with my um, my covers and make them very mixed media, but the insides, um, inside pages, this is pretty much going to be it. I am going to add one other thing, um, but this is, is kind of pretty much the page. It keeps my mini albums from getting too heavy because I've learned that, and, you know, the outside I get to be all fun and embellishy with as well. Um... I'm gonna put that heart there and I'm not gonna do anything with it even though it's a resist thing I'm gonna stick that down so this one is pretty much finished I, this will kind of go on top of it um, on the other side so when it opens up she can kind of write her thoughts like my mom is crazy and made me take these <laughs> made me take these pictures outside it was really hot that day. it was maybe 90 and they were all sweating and they were standing in this gazebo waiting for their limo to get there there were about 20 kids all in the limo and so she can write all about her crazy mom in here with her and i will kind of add some embellishments to this as well all right, we have the resist side, but I'm going to wait till this dries just a smidge before I get to it. Heavens to Betsy. Here's another resist that I have. I wish you guys could see. Maybe you can see just a smidge there. Um, and I am going to use the Distress Stain this time and kind of go over with the Distress Stain. Yes, Katie, thank you for sharing that. Please visit Helmar.com, find these wonderful products. Um, they're, they're pretty much crafty life changing, so um, don't wait one more day without them. That was like a cheesy commercial, but it's true. I'm gonna try this. Then I'm going to do the brayer again. That kind of gets a um, graduated color there.
Oh, the value packs. Yes, yes. Do a value pack. Do a value pack. Good job, Kiki. Okay. I'm going to try this just a little bit more. Thank you, back. All right, um, cause that's pretty much really pretty on its own. Mm, no, I don't wanna do that. Thank you, Anita, thank you. All right, I'm going to cut. This has the most beautiful gray pencil type writing on it right here I'm not sure you can see it kind of a stamped effect and I'm going and I have like how this scallop I'm trying to decide exactly where I want to put it Oh, abusing my 450 again, not closing the lid. So bad, I need to do that. Closing the lid. Now I'm gonna wipe it off and use my extra. Helmar is not to be wasted. Okay. Ta-da! Okay, that is done. So it's time to add a photo. I kind of want a little bit of contrast here. Mm, yeah. Right, and I had an idea. See, I'm so messy. I'm going to use these chipboard pieces. I like this arrow. Should I put the arrow? Good luck. And again, I'll put a journaling page with it. This is kind of a kind of the same print, and they'll probably put them inside like this. This is a really pretty antiqued kind of look. And then it's got the really pretty polka dot on the back side. And I will have to crop a dial on here, but it shouldn't be too bad. It'll fit right in there. And I kind of like how you can see through there. Let's see. Polka dot will be just perfect for this. Mm. 
go ahead, go ahead and make some grilled cheese. Um, I'm going to kind of put everything together, um, just kind of not formally, so you can kind of see how it ends up, and then I will show you the end effect when we are done. But grilled cheese sounds really good. Hmm, maybe somebody will make me one here. Bring it to me. And these are their corsages, and these do have um, a little bit of sentimental value. Um, my mother-in-law passed away in June, and this was in April, and she um, she was just spoiled Haley Rotten for her prom and bought her this beautiful, expensive dress, you know, I wouldn't have done, and she bought them both these beautiful corsages and delivered them that day. So um, they're very special, and I'm really glad that I have this photo now because it's very... Um, very much a keepsake for us all. Mac and cheese with beef, yum! I'm just going to leave that just like that. I'm not cutting anything else. All right. Thank you, Katie. This is kind of one of those pages. And like I said, I keep pretty much the interior pages are always very clean and simple, um, what I consider clean and simple, um, because I want to leave it to the journaling. And um, I do a lot of journaling in my mini albums in comparison to layouts. All right. Because I know we're wanting to close up shop here pretty quick, I'm going to finish up my cover and then I'm going to tentatively put it together for everyone. And then I'll, of course, show you the end. Okay, here's my cover, pretty much dry, but I'm going to add a few touches to it. Like, where did, where on earth did my letters go? See, messy. Too messy. Hmm, maybe I won't be. Aha! Does anybody have any questions for me? Oh, thanks, Beck. I'm glad you like that my pictures here. I'll kind of go through the other ones. Here are some of the kids getting into the limo. Here's her little clutch. She made that herself. It was uh, just, she found it at a thrift shop and added all the bling and that kind of thing. She likes to alter things a lot. There is her pretty purple dress. You can't really quite see it all. She's on the end, end of this page, kind of second from the end. There she is extremely irritated at me at this point and then with her friends. Yes, she's quite, she's quite crafty, and she enjoys it very much. Um, she's actually wanting to go to art school. She has some beautiful art. Look at these fantastic glittery stickers. You probably can't even see the glitter, the awesomeness of the, pink, of the silver glitter on here, as well as I would like you to, because it is so pretty. My original idea is think of going out the window. So I am going to add P.
So. Um. Then I'll probably add some other things to that because I can hardly ever not finish embellishing. So I'll probably, I'll probably add some more and I'll show you what I add here. I may flip cameras too. And how I'm going to put these together is I will have this page in, in the center here, which will go in here. This is dry now with my 450 that it's definitely quick dry. Um, I will be adding a few more things to this, but I'm going to add this in here. Here's my other resist page, which will have a photo added to it as well. And this one, and I'm going to put Probably like this. And then I will add my little Office Depot journal tags kind of in between. Like so. And then I will bind it with my binder rings and it will be done. This one hasn't been punched yet, so it's hard to. But then we will have a complete mixed media mini. I think, thanks so much to everyone who showed up tonight for this class. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you, Katie. I appreciate you for you moderating for me very much. And um, it's been so fun doing this class. Um, go out and check out all the cool techniques again um, because I know I was just kind of scattery but if you have any questions also let me know oh yay Kiki I'm glad that's I'm glad to know that you will do a mini this weekend thank you thanks for coming have a great week girls and I hope it's a crafty one thank you Katie I'm going to go ahead and stop.